Is this camera on me? This is 10 percent luck, 20 percent skill, 15 percent concentrated power of will, 5 percent pleasure, 50 percent pain, 100 percent reason to remember. Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, son, TJ. How's it going, man? I finally have my contacts on, so you have to worry about me not being able to see. <laughs> So listen, this video is inspired by a YouTube channel called Channel Pub. Channel Pub is an upcoming YouTuber. He has 14,000 subscribers. He's growing really fast. He might, he most likely gonna have more subscribers by me by the end of the year. But he's done like a lot of videos talking about like um, worst to best outfits for like um, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and recently Superman. And I want to do the same, but honestly, that's his wave right now. And I'll probably go back to it later on. And I want to talk about Goku, because I already did top 10 best Goku moments. And you know, we're, this is a big Dragon Ball channel, even though I do other stuff. And thank you for all the support in the last video. And there should be some comments popping up, just like my two of my favorite comments. I think I want to bring that back, because I want you guys to comment more, because I love the likes. I just want more interaction, and I just appreciate that. But yeah, today we're going to talk about where's the best Goku outfits. And pretty much how I'm going to rank these is that, like, just all preference, really. And, you know, my top three favorite colors is red, orange, and blue. So you're going to know how I'm going to rank these. And also, I'm only gonna use the outfits that Goku has fought in like technically like he's used it in a fight like there's gonna be some like outfits that like for example it's a Naruto outfit that Goku has in like one Dragon Ball game but like again like he doesn't even use it anyway so like there's gonna be GT super um, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball just anything that Goku just really been in and he's used the outfit in the fight whatsoever so let's begin so for the worst, in number 25, we have the farmer outfit for Goku. Honestly, I just don't like it that much. Like, it's cool because, you know, Goku's in it and all, but, like, it's just... It's just kind of bland. I don't like the colors. Um, like, I don't even like the little slash there, like the little Natsu thing he has. I just don't really like it that much, so that's why it's that low. Next up is the shoes outfit that Goku took from Shu. Um, it's just... Pretty much like a little purple outfit. It's just the same as Shu's outfit. It's better because it's more of like an actual traditional gi look. So that's why it's better. But I don't really like the color scheme of like the purple and gold. You know, I like the Lakers, but I don't really like it on Goku. So main reason why that's, this outfit is this low. Next up is the snow outfit. I've seen this snow outfit a lot in like little Goku AMVs where he's fighting through the snow, got the power pole and everything. Overall, it just is Goku's outfit under it, but like the snow outfit is pretty cool. I like the little hat he has. It makes him look even cuter. Just this kid Goku's all about being kawaii as hell. So yeah, I definitely enjoyed this look overall. It's just definitely not in like my higher tier looks. Next is the space outfit. Um, this kind of confirmed, like, you know, even through filler, that Goku can't breathe in space or survive in space. And I remember getting little toys of this that they don't sell anymore, like, at all. But, yeah, like, this, this, this outfit is pretty cool. Like, you know, who doesn't like the space outfit? Who doesn't like astronauts whatsoever? So, yeah, I like it. And Goku looks goofy as hell trying to defend his spaceship while traveling to Namek, all in this filler arc, which I thought was pretty cool. So, yeah, that's why it's, it looks pretty nice. I like the that it still kind of keeps the Goku's color theme of being orange. Orange. Um, those have the blue in there, but I like I like the spaceship design or not the spaceship, but the space design. I, I like it. Next up is the Grand Priest outfit. Um, yeah, it looks kind of goofy on Goku. I'm not gonna lie, but um, I do like how it has Goku's kanji as the belt buckle. Kind of makes it more of his own. Um, it's just so weird. He's got these big parachute arms. That's just kind of <laughs> weird in the boots. Like like I like it on Goku Black, but it's kind of it's kind of iffy here, but yeah, it's a cool outfit, but it's definitely not one of the higher tiers in my opinion. Next up is the end of Z Goku outfit. Um, I like I like the concept of him having like a belt. He's got the like little wraps around his ankles, but I hate the colors. I hate the colors. Like it doesn't even matter if it's in Dragon Ball Z Kai, Dragon Ball, whatever colors you're looking at. It could be in all green. It could be all in this old old turquoise blue. It just looks weird. Um, I do like the orange wristbands and orange um like belt or not belt ankle straps, but I just don't like the colors at all. Like, I'm glad this is we're getting more into the Gi outfits. That's what I appreciate more of. Next up is the GT outfit. Um, it's better than the in the Z outfit because the colors are a little bit better looking, better to see. But I I don't know. Like the gold pants instead of having orange pants is kind of a turn off for me. On um, the pink wristbands, pink is not really one of my favorite colors. Um, yeah, it's just, I just don't really like how none of the colors have, like, a matching feel to it. They just kind of feel all over the place. But overall, not too bad, but just definitely not one of my favorites. Um, we have the Goku's first outfit ever in Dragon Ball. Um, the purple and red. Um, but I like the purple. Well, it's not really purple. It's like a dark bluish type color. Um, I like the simplicity of this a lot. It's just, like, 
I just like the the next outfit that's coming up because it's just better colors. But yeah, I do like this. It's very simplistic, pretty cool. Um, it's just an OG look that you have to appreciate because this is Goku's first look. Um, yeah, the Super Saiyan 4 outfit. Now we're not talking about like the full on look. We're only talking about like the fur, not the fur, god damn it. <laughs> We're only talking about the pants, the shoes, and uh, the wristbands. We're not including the fur, the crazy hairdo. We're only talking about the outfit. And I like this more than the GT and original Dragon Ball Goku looks because I like the little like Bardock like ankle things he has there. Um, I like the gold pants in some scenes, but it's still not as good as orange pants. And I just don't really like the color choice of having this like weird turquoise wristbands and stuff. Like, I wish it was blue like his overall like belt he has. But yeah, not a bad look. It's better than his regular GT look, that's for sure. Next up is the Saiyan armor. Um, it's so weird seeing this on Goku because it's such a Vegeta thing, but Goku doesn't look half that bad in it, especially when he's in his Super Saiyan Grade 2, Super Saiyan Grade 3 look. Um, just, just, you know, Saiyan armor. We all know what it is. This is like one of the later updates. It's not made by Frieza. It's made by Bulma. And yeah, it looks pretty good on him, especially when he's training with Team Gohan and Hyobar Time Chamber. Not bad at all. Okay, this is technically like not really Goku, but it still is Goku's body, and I just like the outfit, so I'm including it. Um, Goku Black, um, man, is swaggy. Like, this outfit is swaggy as hell. You got the Batara on the left earring. Um, he's got like the, you know, the time ring on his on his index finger. Um, he's rocking the, like, the red belt I like, and the gray and black. It's just he has a color theme, which I really appreciate. Um, you got the nice boots. Overall, this is just a swaggy outfit. Um, I like it. I'm more a fan of the red, orange, and blue color scheme, but I just like that the colors make sense with this outfit, and it's something that I really appreciate. Now we got the OG, triple OG, original Turtle Hermit Gi that Goku had in Dragon Ball when he was a kid. Um, the things that was just so epic about this is that the orange and blue, this brought you know the, the famous orange and blue, especially with the red, like a little bit of red. Like I love it when Goku has orange and blue and he has that that, that good smidge of red in there, which is like you know with the power pole design. Um, this is back when the Turtle Hermit was not white, it was yellow, so that was pretty different. Um, it's just a classic design, and this is when he had the the red, um, not the red, but the the black belt, which you know is like karate, you know the black belt. Um, it's just such a really great color scheme. Love this design. Um, what can I say, man? It's a very classic design, and I really appreciate it. It's, it's amazing. Next up is the Termin Hermit Gi with the black under um, undershirt. Um, it's pretty much the same as the, um, the old one, but we finally got the classic Goku boots. Um, I, it's better because it just has a lot of that feel of Goku that I like, the, the, the undershirt. Um, just the boots and everything like it just it's the same as the other one but it adds on some certain textures that I think of Goku and that's why it's higher um, I, I don't I'm not the biggest fan of the yellow like circle in the kanji not a big fan of that but overall it's better than the other one in my opinion okay we have the Termin Hermit Gi and Dragon Ball Z now some things have changed with this Gi like the, um, the boots it no, no longer has a little like tie-in strap there um, this one, the circle is white, which is classic. I love the white with the Turtle Hermit sign. Um, it's very slightly different, but I love that it's all blue and orange. Like, he has a blue undershirt now, which is, like, one of the big things about Goku. If you see, if you, like, if you're, if someone doesn't know about Dragon Ball, they know that Goku at least has the blue undershirt and the orange top. So, definitely, it's just that I don't really like that it's only turn, uh, Turtle Hermit um, kanji and, like, a Turtle Hermit kanji in the back. Um, I like it, but it's not like it, it make it sets it back in terms of other outfits that's above this one. Next is the 59 Goku outfit, and Goku means 59 in Japanese, so that's why it is that way. I just really liked how laid back this is, was especially in the filler when he was in his Master Super Saiyan state. Um, the green pants are a little bit, you know, a little bit over the top, but for some reason, I just really liked how it looked overall. Um, the jacket is just swaggy. Like I actually like the jacket a lot. Um, yeah, like, it's, it's a very simplistic outfit that Goku has in this, but I, I definitely like how laid back it looks, so definitely that's why I have it this high. Next up is the Yard Rat outfit, when Goku returned from, like, pretty much beating Frieza and, like, barely surviving the destruction of Planet Namek, after he trains with the um, Yard Rats, here he comes, and I like this because it's different, you know what I mean? Like, red is my favorite color, it just, I don't really like too much red on Goku, but the red pants works. Um, the different color things of the boots, the little tied straps on the boots are back. Um, 
I like the little, like, you know, the, the cool little, like, hangover straps that Goku has on this, the little, like, little cool shoulder pads, little neck protector thing. It's so weird, but it's cool at the same time. I just like how experimental this overall look is. Next up is the Termin Hermit Gi without the weights because back when Goku was wearing the um, his his it, like you know the beginning of Z uh, Termin Hermit Gi and his black undershirt Gi they was weighted so he always take this off and Goku looks so cool when he takes this off man like is you know is missing the blue which you know it hurts but overall it still looks super clean he looks so like speedy like it reminds me of when he fought. Um, Piccolo Jr. when he fought Raditz. It just, Goku looked just so free in this outfit, which is something I really like and appreciate. Next up is the Xeno Goku outfit. Now, this one is one of the more experimental outfits in this entire list. Um, I just really like how different it is. Um, it doesn't have any of the orange, but I appreciate the blue and the black. Black is like my top four favorite colors. Um, I like the cool little like, he has like a cape, but it's like a super, like, I don't know. And I love the black undershirt. Really appreciate that. Like, I like that the power pole is back. Um, I like the blue straps that he has. It's like, a, like he has all the matching blue straps. Like, there's no weird colors in between that. This is just a very cool look. Um, it's one of the best new looks that Goku's had over these years. And like, Xeno Goku is really loved because of this new look, and I and I respect it. Next up is the Termin Herbert Gi with the King Kai Kanji sign in the back. Now, this one I really appreciate it from the older one when you just have only the Termin Hermit. Is that he has the Termin Hermit, then he has the King Kai. Like he has like a different Kanji on, on it. Um, it's just the classic design with just more different Kanji, which I really do like. Um, it has so many uh, old memories with it. I love wearing my Goku shirts where it has those different Kanjis. Um, it's just, what can you say? Like it's hard to fix something that's like it's just so perfect looking. Um, yeah, I love the little yellow straps. This this brings back the boots that doesn't have a little um, red like tie-in. It's just like an overall just like red belt on it. Um, yeah, it's just a very classic design that is always going to be remembered because of Goku versus Vegeta. Next is the Turner Hermit uh, Turner Hermit Gi with the Go sign. Um, this is the first time he comes in in the Namek Saga. Um, he has like the Go here, the Go here. I just really love to show that Goku is his own master. And it's just pretty much the same as the um, the same Saga outfit when he fought Vegeta, but it brings back the little red tie on his boots. It's just, it's just little details like that that sets it apart from the older outfits that I really appreciate. And it just has the memories of him beating up the Ginyu Force, fighting Frieza. This is a very slick, like original design. That's just, it's a slight difference, but that difference counts. Next up is the Termin Hermit Gi from the Broly movie with the Go sign. Now, it's pretty much the same as the same uh, as the I don't know as the same saga as the Frieza saga outfit, but it now has the classic boots where it's the red strap and the yellow tie, which I prefer the boot with the red uh, with the red coloring and the yellow strap compared to the the yellow coloring and the red strap. But um, yeah, it's almost the same, but the boots are different, which I like a little bit more than the previous one. We're getting to the top four, people. Um, the Wiss outfit in the Resurrection F and Universal 6 saga. Um, this is a great, great outfit. I love it. I love that the boots have like a slight lighter color blue on it. Um, I just love that type of boot anyway. Um, it's, it, it is missing red. Like I like it when there's a little bit of red in there. But it's just a very new slick design that I really appreciate they, they changed with it. You know, the Wiss sign is really cool too. I like that. Um, it's just a very modern Goku design that I really enjoy and really appreciate. I just miss the undershirt and I miss a little bit of red somewhere in there, just a little bit. Next up is Goku's most popular look, like pretty much ever. Like I think everyone's gonna know Goku for this look. This is the no kanji and um, no strap. This is just the slash. Um, yeah, this is the most simplistic Goku design. This is the first one I brought in the on um, the boots with the, the red coloring and yellow straps. I just love how simple it is and how basic it is and it's just I just love it because I remember most of Dragon Ball in the Cell Saga and Boo Saga and he doesn't really have this outfit anymore which is kind of sucks like granted it's in the Dragon Ball Super Manga because he doesn't feel like drawing the, the Goku Conjure or whatever but yeah Goku's most famous look and something that is iconic to me and I, I like getting like I remember when I was a, a kid I always wanted the toy with this look I didn't want like the little little strap or anything like I'm more of a fan of the belt look more than like the little tie so that's that's definitely deserves to be top three in my opinion now number two is Goku's uh, capsule court design which is a combination of his original like 
Gi look with his whistle, uh, whistle look. The only thing that sets this from not being number one is that I hate the capsule cork design there. I, I hate it. But this improves upon the whisk outfit in every way. Like, it's li it literally just changes. It has a blue undershirt. And it's not like, you know, like a regular shirt. It's like a muscle shirt, which I really do appreciate. It makes it look so cool. But the only thing that sets it back from being number one is that I wish it had the whisk um, the whisk uh, sign instead of the capsule cork thing. Like, I don't like that at all. Like, well, we'll make this better if it had like the Goku sign there and the Goku in the back don't make it the best Goku outfit ever made if they have this outfit the whisk symbol Goku outfit with the Goku sign in the front and back it would be perfect and I love it but that's why it's number two number one is Goku's design from Battle of Gods and Dragon Ball Super and currently now um, I, this is the combination of the no symbol look with his Frieza Saga look with the Goku sign. Like, I love the Goku kanji so much more than the Turtle Hermit, the King Kai, and all those kanjis. And it's just like, it reminds me of Goku's most popular look with the, with the slash and no kanji. It's the most perfect design. It makes me think of Goku. Like, when I think of Goku, I think of this version of Goku. Not like super, but just this overall outfit. Um, it's the perfect combination in my opinion. It has everything I want. It has the boots I like with the um, the, the red uh, the red coloring with the yellow strap. as a perfect amount, a little bit of red in there. Um, the orange is nice. I love that the blues are where they should be. Um, it brings back like just having Goku with a cool design on his back and front. Like, don't get me wrong, I love it when he doesn't have a sign, but just that that extra flair of him having some kanji on his back shows more how a martial artist he really is. And um, I know a lot of people prefer the other outfits, but this one, it just makes me think of Goku. And hey, I get I have a blast when I see this design when like when Goku finally picked it back up after using the whisk symbol design. I was just like, oh yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. And Battle of Gods really brought me into it anyway. So yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think. What is your favorite Goku outfit? Um uh, school is going to be starting pretty soon for me, so videos are going to be like, you know, a little bit less frequent. And I already know I barely upload anyway, but yeah, <laughs> that's the main reason why. Um, I know a lot of you guys want me to do a Fast and Furious Top Strongest video. Like, I still haven't seen the Hobbs and Shaw movie. I'm probably going to see it today because I want to know what's all the hype about. But let me know what you guys think about how the channel's going so far. I've been putting my face more and more videos, and I've been, you know, doing some different changes to help out the videos. But um, yeah, I, I've, I've been seeing the, the, the feedback in a lot of my videos. You guys just love Top Strongest videos. I'm gonna try my best to deliver as much as I can. Um, I think nowadays, if it's a top 10 video, I'm either gonna do like a quick little video or have me talk about it in person. Or I might do an explanation video. Like if I don't do a commentary video on the top 10, um, I'll explain it in like in the top 10 and explain. And honestly, I just want to say thank you guys for um, showing so much love to the uh, Vegito Gogeta parody video. Um, it just really showed me that I am talented and other things just besides making Top Strongest videos. Because I try my hardest to make, you know, video gaming videos. Just show that I'm a funny guy and I'm a, and I'm a fun entertainer. But it's hard when you've made your channel based off stuff that doesn't really have your personality in it. And it really warmed my heart to see like 50 likes and so many people say that I'm funny. Um, I just want to say thank you guys. Uh, it just really shows me that I am more than just a guy putting pictures together. I definitely appreciate that. Um, again, if you guys think I'm funny and everything, check out my gaming videos. But right now, the direction with, this, uh, with my channel so far, I'm going to continue putting my face in these videos because I want my I want my brand to feature me in it. Um, I'm definitely going to continue making Top Strongest videos. Now, let me know if you want me to do remasters, like some old like 2015 videos. Do you want me to just like remaster it with like some anime footage in there or just different editing styles um, let me know just some suggestions just know that like i'm a regular guy i have to watch stuff like if you want me to like do a top strongest like some new anime that's out i gotta watch it and like investigate it and like understand the power scaling so um yeah man i might start doing videos where i just you know i talk about current strongest characters like john Ball super hasn't been back for a while but the drama super manga is out like if i if, I, if it's not really a definitive ending to whatever i'm top, top strongest thing then i'll just do a commentary where talking about like uh, i'm on chapter 547 these are the strongest characters right now you know what i mean so you know we'll try some different stuff but Definitely, I'm thankful for all you guys supporting me as a person, you know, besides just making the Todd Strong's videos and everything, like just supporting my commentary, my comedy style, makes me actually feel like a YouTuber, not just a guy who got lucky off of creating a formula that a lot of people copied. <laughs> like, that, it just makes me feel a lot better. But yeah, um, 
that's all I got to say, really. I'm going to try my best to upload more stuff coming future, just trying out new things. And yeah, sons of y'all, peace. Love you all. Yeah.